man. Looking for something in my garage here. Definitely needs to be cleaned out, but uh, what was I was looking for again? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was looking for this. Um, I guess I got a race car. Um, let's think about doing something with this. This is the uh, carpet that uh, goes to the Belvedere. It's a better quality than the brand that I got here. And it's a little thicker. It's got the back matting. And then this one actually goes past uh, that rear hump there in the back. So that might actually reach up to the firewall that Jeff put in for me. I'm basically showing this carpet so Jeff can see what I was talking about when I explained the carpet to him. But this is the real reason we're down here in the basement. I got this a while back. Uh, it's just been hiding down here. It's kind of a generic radiator. Uh, Jeff sent me a, a link to it. Um, cooling radiator specialists. It was pretty reasonably priced. Um, he said that he uses this in uh, his son's duster. I think he used uh, the similar setup in his blue duster and it works really fine for those cars. Well, kind of a plus. Um, we were thinking that it wasn't gonna come with the shroud mounted to the radiator already. So I thought I was gonna have to work on mounting that myself, but it looks like it's already all mounted and it'll just slip in in one piece. <laughs> Uh, I'm laughing because uh, Jeff has been after me to do this for about four or five weeks now, and uh, I've been putting it off. So last year at No Name Nationals, the Jack Pine Savage was uh, running hot, and the fans that were on there uh, barely worked at all to begin with, and then they eventually, they even stopped working the day I got there. So I didn't have any fans, and uh, the car was running about 190 degrees in between runs and I wasn't able to make as many passes as I wanted because I was waiting for the car to cool down. So hopefully this will help remedy that so I can uh, be duddy and hot lap my car. Uh, also, when I leaked radiator fluid onto the track, it was because I had a factory style plastic catch can and the bottom of it had a little crack in it that we didn't know about. So that's where it opened up and it was uh, spitting out whenever the car would get hot. So I got this unit here that I'll install in place of the plastic water bottle that I put there in place. And then I picked this up from Just Sun. I'm gonna put a shift light on the jack pine, but I wanted a blue light. So, you know, blue car, blue light. We are kind of hoping, I think, to take this car to Rock Falls, a quarter mile drag strip in Wisconsin. Um, not this coming weekend, but next weekend. This was my long week. I worked Friday, Saturday, Sunday, off today, slept till about seven o'clock. PM, so I'm not going to get anything done today, but uh, let's see. I'm off Friday, Saturday, Sunday this weekend. It's Street Machine Nationals. Jeff has taken a couple cars to that car show. I'd love to take this, but I don't own a trailer, and uh, it would I'd have to rent one. And I think my time would best be spent doing the radiator swap. So there's more videos coming on the Jack Pine. We are going to get her to the track and uh, get ready for No Name Nationals. Hey, got a man, yeah, got a man. Foul